and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. Uh, our next story objective is uh, along the south street of Sotenbori. さくらだよ。ハルカの知り合いか違うよ。福永さくら。女優さんだよ、有名な。I saw you staring at my wife. <laughs> uh, I don't like this guy. Yeah, this is uh, not exactly a conversation. Uh, I feel like uh, dudes in their 40s or 50s should be having with a 9-year-old. Mm -hmm. I, I think Haruka's dying in this game, at least. So yeah, uh, this dude runs a talent agency, and uh, he's got his sights set on Haruka. Hmm. I uh, I actually thought this was uh, this little plot line was an addition for Kiwami 2, just to reference like some later events. But it, as it turns out, this was in the original version of 2 as well. Anyway, if we, uh, walk a certain distance away... He'll, uh, he'll start badgering Kiryu with phone calls. Boy. Buddy, please stop talking about a nine-year-old like this. Yeah. She'll be the next Macaulay Culkin, just you wait. Oh, no. <laughs> I got the perfect title for it. We'll call it Outer Gaijin. Where it, where, <laughs> where a kid is is left alone and attacked by several foreigners on vacation during Christmas, but the foreigners are thieves. Come, coming to a theater uh, near you. This 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 uh, Christmas season. Yeah. Then it turns out, in like the sequel, it, instead of foreign thieves, it's Yakuza, and then that's how they get on with like the series. Just sticks with that forever. <laughs> and then they'll do some reboots with a completely different cast, and it just just won't be the same. Of course. Don't you talk about Sorry. Haruka that way. No, oh, no, it's the girl across the street. Hmm. <sighs> All right.
right, so... For some reason, Kiryu's uh, gonna go hear out the producer and hear, and uh, listen to his pitch. Yep. Alright, Haruka, you stay here, outside, alone, where it's safe. <laughs> I mean, Kiryu's doing this because he's having doubts of his, uh, how good he can be as a parent to Haruka. And the fact that he's kind of just leaving her out on the streets by herself while he does this, uh, might lend a little credence to that. Yeah, at least give her a Tamagotchi or something, jeez. Ha! That's no, please. Next. Next topic. Let's go. Buddy, even if you are legit, this is the this is a terrible pitch. Yeah. Because it's because it's about a, a nine year old. Yeah. Mmm. What did you call me? <laughs> hey now, Kiryu's not the one with a rat's nest on his head. Mm. Kidnapped four times and is now a, uh, a witness to murder. Yeah, she could be 10 any moment now. Or worse, 11. <sighs> I love the idea that more agencies could show up. Like, if, if I was Kiryu, right? By this point, mm -hmm. he's dealt with the Yakuza several times, blah, 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 blah. He's made important connections. Why could he not have a connection that would know somebody in the movie industry? And then right? And then just use their agent. Yeah. Wait, no, yeah, Kiryu totally does have connections to like uh ah, the ah, movie industry. Ah. He's tied with uh Miracle Johnson and uh Steven Spinning. Of of all people, yes. But like even just like his host friends would surely know somebody that's in the movie industry. And then all you gotta do is the normal Yakuza thing of like, go to a hostess club and order drinks. And then, you know, you gotta do the annoying thing of like matching the likes with the things you order so you get perfect ratings. <sighs> and, then, and then once that's done, you unlock the task that allows you to do the thing with the people. Uh. Like, it, it's a doable thing. Nanny. Yeah, Kir Kiryu absolutely does have uh, producers in his network. Boy. Even outside of, uh, like, Miracle <sighs> Papillion or, uh, I forget his name. Was, was it Papillion Kato and uh, the other two I mentioned? Mm, I forget. That's the guy with, like, oh, yeah, the they're... three friends or whatever they, at the cafe. Yeah, the guy Kiryu uh, had to fill in as producer for. Yes. Uh. Yeah, all these things that like Kiryu can tap into uh -huh. and build a, a career on. Seriously. Anyway, uh, Arika was being uh, accosted by these men, so let's go beat the shit out of them. I mean, we're allowed to say her uh, a what? We're allowed to say harassed. Yeah. Anyway, we're just gonna show um, the producer what happens to the guys who uh, fuck with Haruka. Yeah. 
No special heat action with the uh, women, though. Still. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's no women here. I don't know for that. Yeah, Haruka's around. I don't think I want that heat action to happen with Haruka. I don't even believe that heat action exists, so... <laughs> Can't wait for you to cut out all existence of that clip and just just to only put it at one in like a freeze frame at the end during the credits to make sure I'm paying attention. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no, the jig is up. She knows we're about to, to sign her away. Yeah, we're gonna sell you to this poorly suited man. Haruka, <laughs> おじさんも私を捨てるの。私もう一人になりたくない。そうじゃない。俺といると。またお前に怖い思いをさせる。怖くなんかない。さあ、帰れよ。ちょっと待ってな。ここまでしばし、この無理かいな。なせっしょうな。私の金の玉もが。私の大あの剣石が。ごめんね、社長さん。それ、あ、それ。その笑顔。何でも許したくなる、その笑顔が君のポッキャで。バイバイ。ほなさいなら。で、あ、ほかいな。わしがたぶらされてどないすんねん。わしゃ。まだまだ諦めまへんで。<laughs> what if we went to Frank House instead? Yes, I do believe we should go to a bar with a child. <laughs> this only makes sense. It's, it's fine. We picked her up at a bar. Wait, that came out wrong. I came to a bar to hear you sing, damn it, not for you to serve me drinks. Alright, this is where Kiryu starts singing. <laughs> yeah, buddy, you you really gotta hear him sing. He's got uh, an amazing set of pipes. Machine what gun! Be? <laughs> What'll be machine gun kiss? Uh, fly like tight. a butterfly. <laughs> fly like oh, a man. beautiful butterfly. I really wish Haruka and Kiryu did a duet of that now. Ah, <laughs> uh, he, he used a double negative. He's he'll be back. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted her to sing because there's absolutely no music that plays. 
They have like the tiniest radio in the back. Uh, I thought we left Haruka at the bar. No, no, we didn't. I believe she actually does sing on the on the while you're running around here while she's here. But I actually didn't realize she was singing, so I just kind of ran up to her and ended the event. <laughs> Man, I don't. I really don't understand how people know where I work, as she wears their full uniform. Right. What happened to be the name of that agency, by the way? No real reason. Yeah. Well, if you want to make some good money, would you like to uh, come work for me at my club? to the bar. No, Haruka, we're not going to go play golf again. Please, no. Ooh. You're the worst. You can't make me do it. I won't. I refuse. I can, and you will. Anyway, as we, uh, as we approach the elevator to get into the bar, uh, the producer's back. Of course. And it's gonna turn out that he was one of the guy who was fleecing the bar lady. Surprise, he wasn't the one who fleeced her. But he will now. Yep, she's in his sights now. Quick, hand me some kimchi. I have to get to my office real quick. <laughs> uh. Well, that's enough of this, uh, side plot. Ultimately, I'm not sure why this was in the game, but it is. It's a very non-mission mission 
you know 